first things first, don't forget to prep your workspace. All you will need is a good flat surface. It does not have to be a sewing table. Just to begin, you will need your machine to sit on a flat surface with enough space for you to eventually work with a few yards of fabric, patterns, and to initially work on small sample projects. If you're concerned about dings or scratches, make sure to have a protective cover for your tabletop, especially if it's your dining room or kitchen table. You will also need a chair that allows you to be at eye level with the top of your machine so that you're able to look down into your machine bed while you're sewing. You need to be able to sit comfortably and safely apply pressure to your machine foot pedal while seated. Be sure that the area is well lit. Although your sewing machine has its own lighting, the more light we have while sewing, the better. Okay, fellow creatives, time to talk supplies. First up, the most important supply for a beginner sewer, a good iron. What makes for a good iron? All the settings on your iron should be properly functioning and the surface of your iron should be clean. Of course, in addition to our good iron, we'll need an ironing board, preferably one that sits on a tabletop. The second most important supplies on our list are scissors. You should own two pairs of scissors, one that you exclusively use for cutting fabric and the other that you exclusively use for cutting paper, and the two should be clearly marked. In addition to fabric and paper scissors, I also recommend an optional supply of pinking shears. Pinking shears are used to cut a zigzag edge in fabric to prevent it from fraying. Next up, we've got our thread snippers, also called thread nippers or thread clippers. They're a small pair of scissors used for quick trimming of threads. Of course, we'll need our straight pins. Straight pins are used to hold our fabric together at the seam line before sewing or temporarily hold our fabric in place while we're attaching and cutting our patterns. We actually can use them while we're sewing and of course, pressing. And of course, my favorite supply, our magnetic pincushion and wand. Our magnetic pincushions and wands allows for quick, safe, and easy collecting and keeping of all of our sewing needles and pins. And of course, next up, our hand sewing needles. Self-explanatory, and there's a lot of them. And as always, we'll need plenty of thread. The two brands I highly recommend are Guterman and Coates and & Clark preferably in poly or simply in cotton. An absolute required supply, our see-through ruler, to draw straight lines and to measure distances, of course. Not only will you use it in sewing, but you'll also use it in pattern making. Next up, we have our hip curve. It's an optional supply right now, but you'll definitely need it for basic beginner pattern making. Next up, we've got our good old tape measure, an absolute required supply. Next, we've got our transfer paper. Transfer paper is a thin piece of paper that's coated with wax or pigment. We use the transfer paper to take our markings from our pattern to our fabric, and those markings can eventually be either brushed off or ironed off. And we can't have our transfer paper without our tracing wheel, which is the tool that we use to firmly press down on our transfer paper to transfer those markings from our patterns to our fabric. And here's our pattern paper, sometimes called sample dot or dotted paper. You'll use this pattern paper to draft your own original patterns from body measurements. Here we have our point turner and seam creaser. It's a handy tool that we use to turn over the fabric without causing any damage. It's also a great tool to create sharp creases on your fabric. And of course, another optional supply for now, our notcher. It's a common tool used in pattern making and sewing that creates a notch in a paper pattern. And another one of my favorite supplies, a loop turner. A loop turner is a handy, inexpensive tool for turning narrow tubes of fabric through to the right side. When you think of a loop turner, think spaghetti straps. And of course, we'll need our pencils. A few mechanical and pre-sharpened number two should work fine. 
And of course, we'll need plenty of muslin. Muslin is a great, inexpensive, plain cotton fabric that we use to make the majority of our samples and prototypes for garments.